Okay guys, what we're going to show you here today is how to weld two pieces of copper together for grounding purposes um, inside a substation or duct banks. What we're going to use is uh, four ot copper. We're going to make a, a T-mold shot to it. So what we've got here is a T-mold. You can so we want to look at our tag. It's four ot connection to four ot connection. And then right here at the bottom it says it's a 150 plus. And that 150 plus means that's what size shot you have to use inside of this thing. So one thing you want to make sure that your, your shot is the right size. As you can see here we have 150 plus. So we have the right size shot. 150 plus, that's the right size shot. So we'll come over here. Um, another thing you want to check is you want to make sure that your copper is clean, which I've already cleaned the copper to save time on this video. And then you want to make sure that the copper is dry. And in order to do that, you can use a propane torch to make sure it's dry. Um, why remove the moisture out of the, out of the copper? Well, when you make these CAD weld shots, this molten metal that comes out of these shots operates at a temperature up around uh, 2500 degrees Fahrenheit. So what that would do is cause rapid expansion of the moisture and uh, possibly blow out a bunch of molten metal all over the place. So we don't want that to happen. So I've already cleaned this copper and dried it properly. So what we'll do now is I'll go ahead and connect this stuff together and we'll stick our shot in. Stick my gloves on here and then did you notice I've got an FR shirt on. You want to look inside and make sure there's no obstructions in your holes. When you close these up, you want to make sure that your wire is nice and tight and that there's no gaps around the edge for your molten metal to leak out of. I'll grab this igniter. I'll show you the igniter. <clears throat> Just simply an electronic box with a little plug on the end that plugs onto your shot. So we plug that in, make sure it goes in all the way, stick it inside your mold and shut the door. What we'll do, when I get ready to shoot this off, I'll stand back the length of my cord. I'll push the button, I'll ignite it, and then I'll jerk the cord off of the shot. Why am I jerking the cord off? Well, you always get sparks and stuff flying out of this, and eventually they'll melt down through your cord if you leave the cord attached all the time. So let's step back, hold this button down for a couple seconds. As you've seen, I pulled the cord off. We'll let this cool off for a second, let some of the flames die down. Then I'd suggest on these T-molds that you remove it while it's still pretty hot. If not, it'll lock up on the mold and you won't be able to get it off. So as you can see here, it came off nice. This is a beautiful mold. I'm gonna grab this copper from the end here because this stuff is really hot. And I'm just gonna bring it up here and show you what, what it looks like. So that's a great job. It's a beautiful looking weld on that. And uh, that's all there is to it. Be careful and, and uh, don't burn yourself.